question. I ask unanimous consent to address the House for one minute. Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, one year ago, the Supreme Court rolled back a fundamental individual freedom in overturning Roe v. Wade. Now, abortion care is inaccessible in 14 states and heavily restricted in many others, with one in three women now living in states without access to abortion. That is unacceptable. In restricting access, states are forcing women to seek dangerous alternatives, undermining women's health and safety. Women should have the freedom to make their own decisions about their health, not state legislatures nor the federal government. At this critical moment, my Democratic colleagues and I are taking action, despite the objections of Speaker McCarthy and the extremists in his party, to force a floor vote on the Women's Health Protection Act, which would make Roe the law of the land. I am thankful for the work of the Healy administration in my home state to protect Massachusetts residents' health care, but I will not stop fighting until women across the country have the same protections to access safe and effective reproductive health care. I yield back.